Hello everyone, this is a video on how to factory reset this Technicolor DGA0122NLK router. So on the back of the router we've got a hole to the right of the power button which is the where the reset button is. You'll need quite a deep uh, paper clip or something to be able to press that button in. On the laptop that I've got here on the right hand side we've got a custom uh, IP address of 192.168.99.1 so that is uh, there and then on the left side not responding at the moment is the default IP address of 192.168.1.1 so the aim here is when I press the reset button it will go back to responding on the left side 1.1 uh, instead of the right hand side of 99.1 so I'm going to do, let you know when I'm going to press the button and hopefully show you what the lights on the router do as well when I press it so I'm going to press it and I'm going to hold it and I'll let you know when I let go of the, the thing you'll see what the lights do as well so I'm going to press it now and each of those lights is going out in turn until it gets to status and now they're all flashing I'm going to let it flash twice and then let go of the uh, the reset button. So the router stopped responding on the IP address it was on and it will briefly respond on 192.168.1.1. Uh, that is just a recovery process uh, at the beginning, so it'll only respond very briefly on that IP address. The router will now boot up normally, so this will probably take about 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds. Status light has just changed colour, I think, or at least blinked briefly. And uh, what I'm looking for now is the wireless lights to go on green. Oh, and probably the Ethernet light as well to come on green as well. So there goes the wireless light, the first one. And the second one. And I'd expect very soon the Ethernet to come on, which it has just now and then I'd expect it to start responding to pings on that left side. There we go. So that is how you factory reset this Technicolor router. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notification switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.